Hi, I'm Jo Slotweg and I will tell you about the Cubics concept. Uh, the idea was to make our own unique game and for that we made a cube which would be the controller and the entire idea of the concept is that the game would be taking place inside your controller, so inside the cubics. To visualize that we have made a game where you can see the 3D cube that you control with the cube controller, the cubics, that you are actually holding. So if you tilt it, the 3D cube on screen will also tilt. My name is Tom, and what you see here is the cubics. This is our vertical for our controller. This device will control the game. Its main uses are rotating and pressing these small panels here, which will act as inputs for the game. We devised a 2D sliding puzzle, which basically is constructed by taking a 2D view of the 3D cube. So if there is a block in the middle of the cube, it will be visible as an obstacle in all the viewports. To show you a little bit what's inside the cube, we have a lot of wiring, we have room for a speaker, there is an iPhone 4 which can be inserted right here, and um, outside of the cube you have this device which will connect to your arm and that will basically make sure you can um, create inputs on the cube. Now to make sure that the player would feel integrated while playing with the Cubix controller, we placed a tiny speaker in there, so all the sound effects from the game are coming from inside the cube. Also, you directly control the player avatar, which is a tiny cube as well, by tapping on the sides of the cube, which will make a noise that will scare off so that it moves to the other end. And this way, by tapping and rotating and refocusing your camera angle, you can get to the exit over uh, six 2D planes, which are made up by a real-life 3D cube. It's made using Lego bricks. <laughs> and there's a lot of cardboard in there. There are 25 LED lights. These are all solar and um, attached to the Arduino board we have in the middle. The Arduino board is actually a makey makey and it actually just conveys electrical inputs as keyboard input.